Ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, Christian Hannah Hall are back here today. Look at this guy. How cool is that? Y'all, this is from Trick or Treat Studios. I pre ordered this back in 1900, the year 1984. Um, no, it wasn't that long. It feels like it's been, a, it feels like it's been a, a long time. I actually got less excited for this for a while because I said, oh, it's never coming. Then when I finally found out it was coming, I was excited again. This right here. As you can see by the look of that face, that this is not Gizmo. That's right. Finally, Trick or Treat Studios has fixed it. And get, well, I got a spray paint his little mohawk. There we go. This is Stripe. Uh, not to be confused with, um, what's the other one called? There's Stripe and there's, is there a mohawk or is there something? Or whatever. Um, this is Stripe. Uh, what's really cool about this is this is before he turned into a mongoloid looking creature monster. Um, that's actually Brain from Gremlins too. But this is Stripe from Gremlins. Look at that. His stripe is a little thin. But, uh, basically let me, let me guys give you the rundown on this thing. This is a puppet. Um, he stands at about, I'd say, probably a foot. He's in, he looks like the actual size of a gremlin. So, let's look at the detail on the face. It's actually a really nice painted figure. <laughs> Got good detail. Uh, as is, is all with things like this, there's actually veins and stuff on the ears, but cameras don't pick that up well. Look at that mouth. And uh, here's his little hands. Once again, the cameras kind of wash everything out, but they look very good. And there's his nasty ass feet. Um, so basically what you do, I can't puppeteer him because the only downfall about this, and it's not really a downfall, is you've got to have small hands to do it. I have, I have short fingers, but I have wide hands. You stick your hand back here, and then he has a little hole by his mouth and his two arms. But we'll get Sydney to puppeteer him. And uh, show you guys the way he moves. But here's one more look real quick. And I'll come back to this in a second. This is the Stripe. Kremlin. Puppet guy. From Trick or Treat Studios. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoy this guy. He's really cool. It's awesome to actually have a gremlin replica that's not, you know, mutated or has eaten after midnight, whatever you want to call it. Um, I like the way this guy looks a lot. You can get Gizmo, of course, but why would you? You gotta get Stripe. I'm just kidding. No, Gizmo looks just as great. Gizmo is people's favorites. I uh, just wanted Stripe. I really did. I said, oh man, I've always wanted uh, a gremlin that hasn't been mutated, like I said, but I don't want Gizmo. I don't want Gizmo. I have a Gizmo already. It's not the greatest in the world, but this guy is cool, so... There we go. So I got my little gremlin steel going right here, and now I'm happy and satisfied and life is complete. So, um... This guy was $70, I think, $70, $75. Um, it's fair, I'd say, for what it is. Um, it's a good puppet. The detail looks great on it. The body looks good on it. Everything looks very well done. The stripe deal is a little thin, but that might be because of just the box it came in was destroyed. I'm I'm worried some of the hair might have just, you know, came out or whatever. But uh, I wish that was a little bit thicker, but I can deal. I'm not, I'm not too, too picky as long as there's a mohawk there. So, I like this guy a lot. So, if you guys want it, I, I'd recommend it. I think it's worth it. It's a great little figure. And it's actual, I'd say that's the actual size of what a gremlin really is. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty good. So, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is from Trick or Treat Studios. These are the gremlin replica puppets. And this is Stripe.